welcome back to our channel. Today, if you behind me, we have some special, special drills today where we're gonna work with the partner and by yourself. We're gonna work on reaction time. And as you can see here, we're using or we're reusing some of the equipment used in previous videos, like the, the hula hoops from a couple of videos ago, the dinner ladder from since the beginning of our channel, and a tennis ball right here. So now we're gonna get into uh, first the solo drills of what we're gonna do, and then we get into the partner drills, and it's gonna be fun and creative and very inexpensive. But today we're gonna work on our reaction time and our reflexes. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna stand in one of these boxes, which is this one, and with the opposite hand, or with a hand, you're gonna place the ball up here and drop it. And with the opposite hand, you're gonna wanna catch it through the hole. If you're in the orthodox position and you're gonna work on your jab, your right hand's gonna have the ball and your right hand's gonna drop it above the first square here and then with your left hand, you're gonna catch it. So it's gonna look, look something like this. Here, like that. And if you wanna work on your cross, then you just switch it up, and you have the ball in your left hand, and you drop it and catch it with your right hand, like you throw it across. So you don't wanna just cup it and catch it. There's no point in doing that. You wanna actually go through the motion of throwing your punch and catch it at the same time. But here, here, like that. And you do that back and forth. If you wanna just focus on your cross, and then focus on your job, we can do one and one. As you guys saw in the last clip, Louis actually did this drill by himself. But if you guys have a partner, you guys can actually make it a little bit more interesting. All you guys have to do here is have a partner actually throw the tennis ball in between these dividers where the holes are actually made. And of course your partner or the person that's actually working on his accuracy or his reflex and his timing will actually throw, like he said, his punches with perfect form. So I'm actually gonna be throwing the tennis ball in between the dividers that the agility ladder is composed of. That way he actually could throw punch in between the holes that the agility ladder makes. So I'm actually gonna be throwing it, I have to be quite accurate, and he catches it, right? You guys can actually work the punches in place. So you guys could just pick any of the dividers and just work your punches standing in a stationary position. Or you guys could actually move on to, you could take a step onto his right side or his left side in this case. And then once again, I throw you know, the, the, the tennis ball and he tries to be accurate and tries to catch you know, the tennis ball with his punches. So we're gonna try that again since he didn't really catch it. So we're gonna try one more time. He catches it, he throws it, the next one. And now I'm gonna throw it and he catches and we pretty much just repeat that, right? Now we can take a step onto his right side or my left side. And then of course I'm gonna throw, he catches and you guys just repeat that a couple of times. And that's a great way to get your partners involved just in case you guys have two people on board training but if not you guys could actually do it the way that Lewis demonstrated so I'll show one more time and just catch it like that so it's one of two ways the next drill is the exact same as the first one but it's just an alternative if you don't have an agility ladder as you can see we've used these same foot hoops in like four or five videos now and we're getting a good use out of them so like I said, it's the exact same concept, so what you're gonna do is, if you're by yourself, you're gonna put one hand above the hula hoop and catch it. And then you go to the right, or stay in the same same spot, but in this case, you can go to the right, just to the front. And then you go here, you throw your jab. So it's basically the exact same concept as the previous uh, 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 solo drill, just we can give more options if you have a genie ladder. All right now I'm gonna show you guys the partnered up version. So this version itself is actually, like you said, quite fun, just for the mere fact that you don't necessarily have to be in your boxing stance or in your fighting stance. All you guys have to do is, of course, face the opposite way. So right now he's actually going to turn around, give me his back. And I'm actually going to throw this tennis ball in one or two hula hoops, right? So he has to be kind of in the middle. That way he's able to kind of either step to the left or step to the right and be able to catch the tennis ball when it goes in between one of these hoops. So it's all about timing, being able to think quick enough and, of course, to be able to let go of his hands because, of course, he wants to catch it, right? He doesn't want to let it fall. So pretty much I'm actually going to give him a one, a one, two, three count. When I, of course, yell out three, he's going to turn around quite quickly and he's gonna try to catch the tennis ball that I'm either gonna be throwing to the left or to the right. And of course, I wanna mix it up. That way it doesn't become a routine and that way it doesn't become a pattern, right? Because we want him to actually be able to think quite quickly and of course, use those reflexes. So right now, here, this is, this is the drill. So I'm gonna tell him one, two, three, switch. Boom, oh. <laughs> One, two, three. Oof. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> Uh, 
it is a very quick drill just for the mere fact that you guys don't really see what way you guys the tennis ball is actually going to be heading towards so it does become very complicated pretty much that will be the end of this video anything that you guys need to know there's going to be a bunch of links in the description box his instagram my instagram team instagram and of course our website that lewis is currently working on and if you guys want to check us out on facebook I would suggest that you guys go do that as well. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time.